Let's talk about the naming convention for the Model S. Using the Model S P85D as an example, P stands for performance, 85 stands for 85 kilowatt hours, and D stands for dual motor. If the name doesn't have a P in it, it's not the performance model. If the 85 is instead 90, then it has a 90 kilowatt hour battery, and if it's 70, it has a 70 kilowatt hour battery. If it doesn't have a D, then it's not dual motor. So what does performance kilowatt hours and dual motor mean? For performance, it relates to the vehicle's kilowatt power. The vehicle's performance was previously denoted by horsepower, but in late 2015, Tesla stopped this practice, followed by Tesla CTO J.B. Straubel blogging that defining electric power in terms of horsepower is not very intuitive. The boasting benefit of the performance Model S is the decreased time it takes the vehicle to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour. For example, the 85 can go 0 to 60 in 5.4 seconds, the 85D can go 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds, and the P85D can go 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds. And if you get the ludicrous speed upgrade on the P85D, it can go 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds. And actually, on MotorTrend.com, published on October 28th, 2015, they tested a P90D going 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds. Okay, kilowatt hours, the number in the middle. In this case, 85 refers to the battery capacity in kilowatt hours. For everyday users, this translates to the miles range, where the number of miles the vehicle can travel before the battery runs out of energy. On teslamotors.com is posted the EPA miles range for each Model S configuration. EPA stands for US Environmental Protection Agency. It's good to know, though, that the miles range is not an absolute value. Compared to the miles range posted on teslamotors.com, driving at city road speeds leads to a lower miles range, and driving at highway speeds leads to a higher miles range. The figure posted on teslamotors.com is described as the combined range. That said, the combined range and the average between the city range and the highway range are not equal. The last part of the P85D is the D, which stands for dual motor. It's called dual motor because there are in fact two motors on this Model S configuration. Dual motor is a big deal because it means the vehicle is all-wheel drive. It's also a big deal because unlike internal combustion engines with all-wheel drive, which are less efficient than rear-wheel drive gas vehicles, the Model S dual motor configuration actually adds more kilowatt power to the vehicle and increases vehicle efficiency. So it can go 0 to 60 even faster and gets better miles range than the single motor rear wheel drive variant. To summarize, the Tesla Model S naming convention is broken into three parts, performance, kilowatt hours battery, and dual motor. If it's missing the P, then it does not have the added performance feature. If it's missing the D, then it does not have the dual motor feature. That is, it's a rear wheel drive vehicle, not an all wheel drive vehicle. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like the video.